Welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 from six months ago. Today we're looking back at the Hot Top 10 from March 15th, 2019, and I'm recording this on Friday the 13th, uh, <laughs> uh, September 13th, 2019. Um, so that's super late. <laughs> so if this is late, I apologize. My week is not wet as normal. So a little late getting to this, but hopefully I'll still get it out on time. Um, so this week, uh, we have a lot of movie spec, um, a couple of covers, uh, hot, just a hot series, and um, the breaking of a streak? We shall see. Um, first up, at number 10, we have Sheriff of Babylon, number one. So this book had gotten hot and hit the list previously, it had been quite a while, um, when there was option news. Well... There didn't appear to be any kind of update or anything, yet the book got hot all of a sudden anyway back in uh, March. It went from where it had settled after the original option news of a $10 to $15 book all the way up to 40 for raw copies. Um, now, whatever caused it to spike in March has faded. Um, there's still no additional news on whether or not this option is, is ever actually going to become a show. But now it is a $10 to $20 book again, um, 9.8. Um, basically, we're going for 100 to 125 back in the March through May um, timeline. Uh, since then, there really hasn't been any sales uh, until just recently, and the 9.8 went for $21.50 plus shipping. Um, just not much going on with this book, not many sales. Uh, people have kind of forgotten about it again. So um, that is Sheriff of Babylon number one. So if you're a big fan of this series or looking to get this number one, now would probably be the time to jump on it. Um, so, I said at the beginning, um, before we go into the next book, uh, that we're breaking a streak this week, and we have, there is no Immortal Hulk related book in the top ten this week. However, number nine is Avengers, number five, Avengers No Road Home, number five, and he made an appearance anyway. It's not related to him. The key isn't related to him why this book hit the list. But he somehow found a way to make it on the list. Um, and don't worry. He'll be back with Avengers next week, I believe. But um, this is Avengers No Road Home number five. And this is Conan Becomes an Avenger. And this book, right out of the gate, um, was going for $10 plus. Uh, 10 to $15 at release. Um now it is a cover to ten dollar book. Um, Conan is part of the Savage Avengers. He's kind of come into Marvel continuity, but at the moment, at least, this isn't become any kind of real key that people are following. Probably will depend a lot on ultimately what happens in this run of Conan being in the modern Marvel universe. So um, I can only find one nine point eight sale of this book, and it went for thirty two dollars plus shipping. So not a lot of buzz around this book right now. But I think, again, this is a book that probably has a little potential, if depending on what they end up doing with Conan, for sure. If he develops beyond just uh, this, or if there's some big events that happen in this Savage Avengers run. But right now, this book is just kind of a track along, just over cover price, um, and pretty easy to be had at 9.8, although it doesn't appear to be a lot of them even out there. Uh, next, at number eight on the list, is another book like Immortal Hulk that's been making a run, been on the list several weeks in a row now. And this is Die Number One, only this time it is the regular cover and not that Virgin variant. Um, and basically, uh, with the Virgin heating up and a lot of buzz around the series back in March, uh, this cover jumped up to 15 to $20. Um, since then, there has been option news, although that's been a month to two months ago now. Um, the series is still going. Uh, it's now, it's still very hot. Um, now the uh, raw copies are, raw copies of this book are going for 20 to $30. Right after the option news, they got up to, um, to 40 um, for raws of this book. Uh, 9.8 are currently going for the 75 to $100 range. Listings on this, raw copies are basically 25 plus, uh, 9.8 or 92, 110 kind of on the listings, and the, which is not too far off from where the, what it's actually going for. Um, the book has cooled a little bit from right after the option news, but definitely um, if this series keeps up some momentum, this has a lot of potential as a series. So that is die number one, um, the regular Stephanie Hans cover. 
Uh, at number seven on our list is Teen Titans number 12, um, the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. And this book has hit the list numerous times. Um, it'll hit the list. It'll go away for a while and hit the list. Um, basically, back then, raw copies were hitting. And this was during the Batman Who Last miniseries early on when people were still enjoying it a little more than I think they ultimately did. But uh, raw copies were hitting $100 plus for this book. Uh, 9.8s were going for 450 ish uh, Now, raw copies are more in the $70 to $100 range. So still pretty significant for a book this new um they have come back a little bit I will warn you there is this year they came out with a foil convention uh exclusive of this cover there are a ton of those listed on ebay intermixed with the regular cover uh, the regular first prints um those foils are going typically for 40 to 50 dollars um a little bit cheaper but I think there's also been a little bit of people confused about which one they were buying because um, there have been some foils go for significantly more. There's also been some regular covers that have slipped through for less. Um, I don't know if people thought it was a foil. Really can't tell any difference to them other than the foil. So just be make sure you know what you're getting um, on that front. Uh, like I said, raw copies are 70 to 80. 9.8s have come back from that 450 kind of peak are now around 300. Um, Listings for this book for raw copies are right in that $75 range, so um, pretty accurate with where it's selling. Um, listings for 9.8s are still up around 400, although it's really only been the last several sales have all been down around three. Um, so that is Teen Titans number 12, the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. Uh, and number six on the list is Marvel Point One, number one. And there's a couple of these Point One books that are have key first appearances in them. This one is the first appearance of Sam Alexander, um, the second Nova? I don't know if he's the second Nova. The new Nova, how about that? The most recent Nova. Um, and this is all tied to spec that Nova is coming to the MCU and that it was, they were going to pick uh, Sam Alexander instead of uh, Richard Ryder. Um, we will see. There's been no additional buzz about that. Really recently with all the Marvel announcements, there was no Nova included. Um, 9.8 for this book, we're hitting uh, 225 plus. Um, now the, like, the book has come back significantly. Um, recent 9.8, well, I say that, most of the recent 9.8 for both covers of this, um, this is the variant um, that they're showing here, which has been a little more in demand. Uh, 9.8's have been going for around 150, although recently, one did go for 200 and they're still asking that 250 range where it was hitting um, back in the spring but you can buy the raw copies of the regular cover for ten dollars and of this cover for around 20. so um might be worth trying to invest in uh some raw copy finding a really nice raw copy because you can get the raw copies fairly easily um for 20 bucks and which is a lot more affordable than 200 and something for um, a 9.8. Uh, next up at number five is Detective Comics 585. And like that first appearance of King Shark last week, this is the first appearance of the Rat Catcher. And this all has to do with James Gunn's Suicide Squad movie um, that Rat Catcher was going to be one of the characters in it. Um, back then, uh, the book jumped from a $2 book to a $30 book. And much like the King Shark book, it is back down to a 5 to $10 book. Um, hasn't really been any buzz recently with the movie. It might jump again um, when the movie comes out. But you got to remember, this is Suicide Squad. So probably not everybody's going to make it through. The, all the characters are going to make it through the movie. Um, if you remember, what was it? Slipknot or whatever made it like five minutes in before they killed him. Uh so I would guess these are probably not great long-term investments. Uh, like I said, now it's a $5 to $10 book. Uh, 9.8 had no recent sales, although there's currently one listed for $150. Um, and generally, they're asking $10 to $15 for this book, a little more than what it's going for, but um, well within reason. Hey, kitty. Um, so at number, that moves us to number four on the list, and that is, is The Crow number one. And this hit the list specifically for 9.8s, which are really hard to come by in this cover. Um, this black cover from the... 
is just really tough to get in a high grade. Um, and yes, they can hear you. Okay. Um, really tough to get in a high grade. And 9.8 hit all time highs of $2,100 and then $3,000 um, back in March. There have been no 9.8 sales since. Um, and I couldn't find any 9.8s currently listed. Um, just really tough to even find the 9.8 um, on this one, um, which is why it was hitting such high prices. Uh, raw copies could be found for around one to $300, um, depending on condition. And like 9.4s are currently going for the three to $400 range. Um, I couldn't even find a 9.6 that it sold recently or was listed, so. Uh, next up, a number of uh, three on the list is Dr. Fate number one v from volume four of the 2015 series. This is the first appearance of Khalid uh, Nasur, who becomes Dr. Fate during this. Basically, there's rumors of a Dr. Fate movie, and there's rumors that they would use Khalid instead of uh, Kit Nelson. Um, so that caused this book to basically, the regular cover to jump up to 30 plus, the variant to jump to 50 plus. Um, the variant's pretty hard to find. Um, but now this book has, there's been no other further movement on this. Um, so this book has dropped back down to a $10 book, um, with the variant dropping down to about a $20 book, although they're asking 40 to $50 for that variant. Um, no 9.8 sales I could find of the regular cover. Um, one, I did find one sale of the variant for 200 and they're asking about 300 for some other copies of the night of a 9.8 of that variant, which I will show now. So that is Dr. Fate number one from the 2015 series, number three on our list. And again, it was, you know, all related to potential spec on a movie that so far has not went any further. And number two on the list is Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 42, the Marcos Martin 1 in 25 variant. Um, this is just, was kind of a hot cover, not hard to find. Not really sure why people were big on this cover, um, but they were. Uh, and this, right out of the gate, this 1 in 25 was going for $70 at release. Um, I think it really just had to do with its rarity, uh, as how many comic shops really order 25 copies of Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. So I don't think there was a lot of them out there. Um, but since then, basically, recent sales are down around $15. Um, a 9.8, there's been two sales of those. There's one for 75 and 150. Um, but people are still asking. There's currently only uh, four listed raw on eBay, and two of them are overseas, and they're asking 60 to $70 for it raw. Um, no current slabs listed right now. Um, so I think it is kind of a hard to find book, but there's nothing really special about it. There's nothing key. The cover's really just okay, um, at least in my opinion. So not sure. It's clear that the. Well, it's rare there really isn't much interest in it because if it's dropped all the way back down to $15. So um, that is Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 42, the 1 in 25 Marcos uh, Martin variant, um, number two on our list. And finally, at number one on our list is Young Avengers, number one. Um, and this has hit the list several times. There's rumors of Kate Bishop and there's rumors of Young Avengers and the MCU and all this kind of stuff. So it's been... So this was, it was back again, and this had everything to do with the dropping of the Infinity War trailer that showed Hawkeye teaching a girl how to shoot a bow. Um, that one scene made this book explode again. It went from 30 to $40 before the trailer to $100 the day after the trailer dropped, um, and more, 9.8 jumped up to three to $400 after the trailer dropped. Um, now, it's mostly selling in the $70 to $80 range, although there have been several sales for $35 to $40. And at, right now, there's people just asking, like, $50, $55 for it. So um, the raw copies have definitely come back down and are kind of continuing to come back down. Um, 9.8s are mostly in the $2 to $250 range, so back down significantly from that $300 to $400. Although some might, the most recent sale is actually four three fifty. Um, not sure why someone paid that much. Uh, most of the asking prices are right at three hundred, so not sure why that one went for three fifty on a nine point eight. 
when most of them can be had for 300 and really aren't going for more than like two to 250. Um, so that is Young Avengers number one. My guess is um, this book will spike again at some point as rumors will continue about Young Avengers. Obviously we know um, they're saying Kate Bishop is going to appear in the Hawkeye TV series. So um, my guess is this book will spike some more. Um, so now might be a good time to jump on it. It's cooling a little bit um, if you really want it. Um, but it's still, you know, even that some of these listings are 50 to $55, quite a bit for a newer book, but that is, if you have interest in the Young Avengers, um, now would be the time to spec on it, knowing that it's probably going to spike again, because, uh, they are definitely planning to use Kate Bishop. So, um, that's this week's list. Um, hopefully I'll get this out to you on time. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.